Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today, we're going to be playing through a game called Match of the Century. Yes, this game is designed by Paolo Mori and published by Capstone Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are going to be taking on the roles of Boris Spassky and Bobby Fischer, trying to recreate the events of the 1972 World Chess Championship. Hopefully, I will win this time. <laughs> This is a two-player only game that plays in about 30 to 45 minutes and uses chess pieces, but is not chess. Instead, it uses tactical card play. And so today, we're going to start with a quick teach of the game and then go straight into our two-player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now, before we begin, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Match of the Century. Welcome to the final match. The chess board. That's right. And so this game is based off of a real event that occurred in 1972 in Reykjavik. I am going to be playing as Bobby Fischer, who is all of the blue pieces. The American. Yes. And I will be playing as Boris Spassky, the red pieces. Mm -hmm. From Russia. That's right. And so the entire match is played over the course of several games. And so the person who can score six points before the other first wins the match. Mm -hmm. And so each player has their own deck of 16 unique cards. And they all look like this. Each card has two sides, each representing a chess player color, as well as a different chess piece. Mm -hmm. And so each game, one player is going to play as the white pieces, while the other plays as the black. And this is important because we are going to be playing cards to the advantage board, and we'll be required to orient our cards depending on which player color we're playing as that game. And so, since Spassky is the reigning champion, at the start of the game, they always start as the white player piece. Mm -hmm. And just as a quick note, uh, players most likely are going to be sitting across from each other, but I'm going to be playing this way, facing our cards towards us. That's right. Typically, you would orient your cards so that they make sense to you. But today, we're going to keep the same orientation for all the cards to make it more legible. And so at the start of the game, each player is going to draw cards from their deck to match their hand limit, which is indicated by their mental endurance track. Mm -hmm. And so in this case, I get to start with seven cards, while Naveen starts with six. Six. Then, starting with the person who has initiative, which at the start of a game is always the white player piece, players will play one card from their hand to one of these four advantage spaces. And since I have the white queen piece, I would play out one of my cards, orienting it so that the three would technically be going this way, but for our filming purposes, we're going to keep it at the top side for me over here. And so Naveen played his bishop, which has a strength of three. And so as you can see, there's also a card effect that will come into play if he does not win this advantage. Now, after Naveen's played a card, I must play a card to the same advantage column. And so we're essentially competing for the points that that are in the advantage column, which is going to be two points. And after I've played a card, we'll essentially compare the strengths of our pieces, and whoever was stronger will actually get to move up on the advantage track. Now, at the start of each game, we'll also have some additional pawn pieces in our reserve. And so after playing a card, you can optionally play up to two pawns to increase the strength of your piece, with each pawn representing one extra strength. So in this case, my total value is a four, three plus one. That's right. And Naveen would have had to choose to play the pawn before I play my card. Mm -hmm. So then I would have to play a card. And let's just say I play this card, which is my pawn. Mm -hmm. And all pawns in this game have a strength of one. Yep. And since I'm clearly not going to win this exchange, I'm going to forgo adding any optional pawn markers. Mm -hmm. So now we would resolve the exchange, comparing the strengths of both of our pieces. And in this case, Naveen wins because his total strength is four compared to my one. Yeah, so a gross miscalculation here if I use this pawn, thinking that Monique <laughs> was going to try to compete for this spot. Right. And so the winner of the exchange would get the number of points equal to the advantage column. But before that happens, the loser gets to take the effect that's on the card. Now, even though there's an effect in the blue section here, this actually corresponds to the white piece. And you can tell that by the orientation on the card. Mm -hmm. And so the effect of the piece that I played is over here, which says I can either gain an additional pawn from the uh, general supply, mm -hmm. Or I can draw a card, respecting my hand limit. So I'll just take a pawn, and once that's done, then Naveen would gain the advantage points, which mm -hmm. is calculated on this advantage tracker, which would move him up two spaces. Right. Now, it's important to note that these are not the points for the entire match. This is only the score for the current game that we're playing. And unless there's an effect that changes this, all cards and pawns played will stay on the board until this game is done. 
And at this point, we would begin a new exchange, starting with the player who won the last exchange, which in this case would be Naveen. That's right. So I would take one of the cards remaining in my hand and play it out to one of the three available sections. Mm -hmm. Now, just as a note, when competing for the column four exchange, whoever wins this one will get the four advantage points, but will also lose one point in mental endurance. Our mental endurance track does several things for us, mainly in between games. Not only does it dictate your hand limit, but it also determines how many of the pawns from the general supply you can take from game to game. In addition, if your marker is either at the very low areas of the track or at the very high areas, then you'll also either gain or lose advantage at the start of a game, which can have a very powerful effect on the rest of the match. And so each game ends when either all four of the exchanges have been played, or if at the end of an exchange, the sum of the remaining exchanges is actually lower than one player's advantage track, then a game could end. As so as an example, if Naveen had played to this exchange and I played here, and let's just say Naveen won mm -hmm. the four points of advantage, then, oops, <laughs> I think I went too far. Yep. <laughs> then you would add up the sum of the remaining exchanges, which would be a total of four, which is less than his current advantage. Mm -hmm. And this essentially means that even if we were to play out the rest of the game, there's no way that I could catch up. Right. So you might as well end the game. It's a checkmate on that one. Right. And if at any point you can't or don't want to play a card, then you can also resign. And once the game ends, whoever is further up on the advantage track gets the one point needed to win the match. And if at the end of the game, the marker was in the very middle here, then it would be a tie and both players would get the point. And that's essentially it. As soon as a player reaches six points, then they win the game and potentially change the course of history. <laughs> yeah, but something that you have to keep in mind is going into the next game, the white queen piece is going to pass to the other player. Mm -hmm. And so the cards in your hand that were once white will now flip and now I will represent the black pieces, meaning I have to manage my hand properly yes. in the previous round, knowing that these potentially are going to be the cards going into the next round. That's right. There is a very strong hand management aspect to the game. And if you ever run out of cards in your deck and you need to draw more, then you reshuffle your deck, but you also lose one mental endurance. Mm -hmm. So just be mindful of that. Either way, we're just going to go ahead and get cleaned up and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we are ready to go. We have shuffled our decks. So I start with six cards. Monique starts with seven. We both start with two pawns, mm -hmm. as evidenced by what's listed on our mental endurance tracks. Mm -hmm. And I also start with the white queen, meaning I'm going to be going first. That's right, because Naveen today is playing as Boris Spassky, while I am playing as Bobby Fischer. Mm -hmm. And so if you're just joining us now and you happen to skip the teach, just as a note, when you play this game, you typically play across from each other. And so your cards should be oriented so that you can read them. Mm -hmm. But today, we're going to be orienting all of the cards the same way so that it's legible for you. All right, ready? I'm ready. Okay, game one. Here we go, starting with you, Naveen. Okay, so I'm Boris Spassky. We are going to be playing our very first card, and I think I want to play Paranoia mm. to number two. Okay. So this is the two knight, mm -hmm. and Paranoia, basically, if I lose this particular one to uh -huh. you, then Fisher, you lose one mental endurance. Already? Already. <laughs> I struggle with keeping up with my mental endurance track, which mm -hmm. can be very, very costly. So be cautious about that. Yeah, look at your hand limit can go down from seven to five yeah. if you lose this one or right. if you lose mental endurance and you only gain one pawn instead of the two that you would normally get. That's painful because this is a potentially a six game match. So mm -hmm. I have to be cautious of that. Well, would you like to add any of your pawns from your supply? I will hold off. Okay, so this means that Naveen is saying that his strength is going to be a total of two for the uh, two advantage here. And just so you know, each card has their own sort of a flavor text. And so this is something thematic that adds some loose historical context to the effects of the stronger piece. Mm -hmm. And so the game actually comes with another separate booklet just entirely for historical context if you're interested in that. And by the way, each card will range in value from zero to five. Mm -hmm. All right, so I must now play a card to the same exchange column. So I'm going to play this card because mm. I definitely don't want to lose mental endurance so early. Sure. And I'm not going to add any of my pawns. So that is it for this exchange. Now we compare both strengths. And in this case, Naveen will win by uh, one strength, essentially. I did. Gaining him this advantage. But before we do that, I get to activate the effects of my card, which because of the orientation of the card is actually just this up here, mm -hmm. which is going to be either drawing one card or gaining a pawn. I'm going to gain a pawn sure. because if I don't use it, I get to keep it from game to game. They're good modifiers. Yes. And now Naveen would gain his advantage, which would be two because it was in the two exchange column. Mm -hmm. So Naveen, you're already winning. Keep it moving. Now, because I won this exchange, I'm going to maintain initiative. So mm -hmm. I have to start out the next one. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and play a pawn to one. Okay. 
There so just the go. strength of one here. Real simple, real easy. No pawns being added to it. Ugh, because it's such a weak <laughs> exchange column. Mm -hmm. So then I guess this is a good opportunity to tie. Mm. So I will also not add any pawns, which means we both have the same strength, making this a tie. In the case of a tie, nobody gets the effect of their cards and nobody moves on the advantage track. Yep. We just begin again, starting with the other player who did not have initiative in the last exchange. That's going to be Monique. Yes. You're going to determine which one of these two columns you're going to play to. Right. And I'm afraid because if I were to win this column, then I lose a mental endurance. So this was a good way for me to get rid of the onus on me putting out a strong card to try to win one of these two sections. Right, and the reason why I played this card is because if you can uh, see the opposite side of the card, it is only worth zero strength, yeah. and I'm going to be the white player uh, next game. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a good opportunity to get that out of my hand. All right, so I'm going to play a card to the third exchange column here. Okay. So it's a strength of three, and I'm wondering if I should boost that. Mm. Um, I guess I'll play one pawn. So now I have a total strength of four. Interesting play. And this is late at the chessboard, by the way. What does your uh, thing say? Spassky must take plus one and my, uh, plus one advantage and minus one on the mental endurance for each unresolved exchange. So that means this one. Just right? one. So it'd be one. Yeah. Okay, so had this been played out early, yes. then it could have been a three penalty to That's me. probably yeah. the play. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and play a four here, okay. and I'm going to add one pawn to make my total value a five oh relative to your four. You're going to win this. I'm going to win this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad card to play, I think. But anyway, that's that. Naveen has five to my four, right. which means he wins the exchange. I have to activate this, which means that you actually get an additional advantage point. I don't know what I'm doing. No, no, it's fine, though, because uh, it's it's a wasted additional advantage point. Yeah, that's true, because you would have won the game anyway, mm -hmm. this specific game. Yeah. You do get uh, minus one mental endurance. Which is bad. So that's, that, that is not what I wanted. First. Yeah. But it does immediately bring you up one before we resolve the actual column, mm -hmm. which is an additional three. One, two, three. Right. Now, Naveen is at six advantage, and there's only uh, four left to win, which means this actually ends the game. Right. We don't even play this column. Correct. Because I can't catch up, even if I were to win this. Sure. Which means, Naveen, you score a point. Yeah, I'm one-sixth of the way there. <laughs> Keep it going. So now, we're going to set up for the next game. So we're going to go ahead and reset this. All of the cards played get discarded mm -hmm. into our own discard piles because our decks are unique. And any pawns played go back to our uh, own general supplies. They right. do not belong to us anymore. Mm -hmm. And now, we can actually choose to discard any number of cards from our hand, essentially flushing them because uh, I am going to be the white pieces this game, mm -hmm. and Naveen will be the black. Right. So you're going to want to to look at the strengths of your cards and see what will work for you. Yeah, basically all the cards that we have left over from this previous round, mm -hmm. we are going to flip it over so yeah. that we orient it knowing that we're now the opposite player piece. Exactly. So I'm just going to go ahead and discard one card. Okay, I will not be discarding anything. Okay. Now we update our status according to our mental endurance track. So since I only have three cards in my hand, I'm going to draw an additional four, bringing me up to seven. And I get uh, two pawns into my personal supply. Right, and you did not have to shuffle, because had you had to shuffle, then you would have to go down one. Right. Okay, so uh, I have three cards in my hand. Yeah. Because I've been penalized here, I still maintain six um, in my total hand, but I only get one additional pawn. That's so good for me. That is good for you. Bit one, of a two, of a balance catch-up mechanism there. And then I get one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So now we can start the next game with me as the white player pieces, which means I have starting initiative. That's right. All right, ready? I'm ready. Yep. Okay, I'm going to start by playing a strength five. The big five. daddy five. Is that my queen? That's my queen. Looks Return like of it. the priest uh, to exchange column three. And I'm going to add one pawn. Let's just be Let's cautious. Make it a six, huh? This is not 100% uh, a win because cards go up to five, and then you can add two pawns. So the total, the highest strength is going to be seven. Yeah. But I'm taking my chances. Well, I think this would be a good time to play this card. Uh, this is a three. Okay. And I'm going to lose this one. But what it says on here is for the remainder of this game, when playing cards, <gasps> Fisher cannot add pawns to them to increase their strength. Nasty. What a timing. Mean. Yeah. Early you on. Shark. I'm going to lose this one. <sighs> So you're not adding any pawns, <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> I will not be adding any pawns. Okay, so then I win this exchange. This happens, and I just guess I, I just need you to remember that. Yes, I will I will keep you honest. On well, that. it'll stay on the board, right. I suppose. But I finally gain some advantage. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, and now I start the next you exchange. You do maintain it. That is rough. Okay, I'm going to play my Whoa. strength four to the four exchange. Times are rough because of this. I basically have to sprint. 
and I cannot add any of my pawns. So this is going to be a total uh, strength of four. If I lose mm. this, the advantage of this exchange is halved. So you would only gain two advantage two. and you would still lose the mental endurance. So what? go for it, Naveen. <laughs> Oh, you've pinned me here. I have. That's good. With deflection, that's, by that's, the way. That's, no, that was good. So I should probably tie this thing is what I'm thinking. Or Instead of trying to win it. Give it to me. No, give it to you means you get a point. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to tie it, okay. unfortunately, with this card. All right. All right. Meticulous preparation. Four to four. If you had lost this, it says pick one random card from Fisher's concealed hand. Yeah. Choose whether Fisher must discard it or play it in this game's next exchange. Uh, okay, so nobody gets the effect, nope. nobody wins the advantage. So there are three remaining and you're at three, so we can still play. Yes, and you now have initiative. I do. Because I had it last time. You were right. This is bad. This is bad? <laughs> For me. Okay. All right, we're gonna bring out the big dog. Okay. Soviet school. Oh. The five. All right, so <laughs> if I somehow lose this, I would gain two mental uh, endurance, two pawns, and I get to draw two cards. Oh, wow. So that I'm just trying strong. to I'm just trying to win this one, you know. Okay. So I think the writing is on the wall <laughs> for this specific game. Good. Uh, so I might as well do some some hand calling, I guess, to prepare for my next game. Okay. I'm gonna play this three. Mm. I cannot add any pawns. I'm just gonna be saving up pawns. That's the game that I'm playing. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get this card back, so you can't use them. No. <laughs> this is best by test. And that's it. Uh, these strengths are five to three. I gain plus one card for each unresolved exchange, which is just going to be Smart. one. Yep. Not an ideal time to play it, but sure. it does remove a one strength from my hand. Okay. So now Naveen gains two advantage, which brings this a little bit closer. And I just realized that even if he wins the one, that'll bring us to a tie. So I could still get a point from this. Yes, exactly. I'm just trying to race to six before you. Yes, that is actually the name of the game here. Right. So now it goes back to you for the final exchange. Okay, final exchange. So I think I like this two here. Okay. And I think I will just leave it as is. With two pawns on it, of what? course. <laughs> Sorry, I had to change of heart. I realized that you could easily just play a three and then that would be it. <laughs> so You're toying yeah. with our emotions. Yeah. Well, fortunately, I could just easily play a four. <laughs> Dang it. I was no. holding on to this card. Oh, I wanted this benefit at least. Shoot. You do get the benefit. You do because you 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 lost. Oh no, no, it's a four. Hi. We tied. We tied. <gasps> That's, That's great. worst case scenario right this there. This is best. This is fantastic. The writing was not on the wall. Okay, this is great because we both tied in strength. It's four to four. Shoot. And Naveen does not get the plus two in mental endurance. <sighs> um, and nothing changes, which means I actually win this game. Hey, hey, we're tied. I was really hoping we would tie here by me getting the, ah, gosh. Good play. And the great news is Naveen is now out of pawns. He's going to get one more, but mm. I'm going to get one more as well. And I can now play pawns again. All right, so this resets. All of our cards uh, get discarded as well as your pawns. Pawns. That was actually kind of a good thing that, that you played this. terrible. Because it removed my uh, decision to... To have to decide to, to to waste my pawns, essentially, it forced me to save them. Yeah, it was bad. And then I blew through my pawns. Right. Now you can choose to discard any number of cards. Uh, I won't be. All right, so go ahead and update your status. So I'm going to, I have four Same. cards in my hand. So I draw three. Uh, I draw four. And I gain one, or two pawns, actually. You do. Wow, look You're at all these You're rich in pawns. pawns. I only got one. I Yikes. am close to, to running out of cards from my draw deck, That though, is good. Which is going to bring me down a mental endurance. Yes. So if there's a way that I can gain mental endurance, I may want to do that. Mm -hmm. You are now the white pieces. I am. So go for it. All right, distracted by cameras. I'm going to put this in the two spot. I'm not going to add any pawns to it. Okay. Uh, basically, um, if I lose this one, I pick one random card from your concealed hand and discard it. Whoa. Yeah. I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to, um, hmm. I'm going to tie this. Okay. I have so many pawns anyway. So that is two and two. Sure. And initiative now goes to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play this here. This is a four unreasonable requests. It is my rook, by the way. And I think I'll just add one pawn. And if I lose this, you choose to either incur minus two uh, mental endurance or minus two advantage, which would make this only worth one. It would. Okay, I'm gonna lose this one on purpose here. <laughs> Relax between games. Okay. So three bishop, choose up to two cards from my hand and then discard them. Gain <sighs> plus one mental endurance for each card discarded. Ah. Yes. So I'm gonna discard two cards. Okay. And then I'm gonna gain two mental endurance. One, two. I'd uh, like to get to this spot right here to get three pawns. Well, and you seven. are. 
back to your former greatness. I know. So there you go. There you I go. won with a total strength of five, which gains me three advantage. Mm -hmm. So the uh, remaining exchanges are a total of five, which means we continue going. Sure. So I'm going to play a three to the, uh, the, the four column exchange, and mm. I'm not going to add any pawns to it because if I lose this exchange, it says if the advantage marker is currently on your side of the advantage track, I gain plus two advantage. What? And that happens af uh, before the winner gains their advantage. Ooh. All right. I'd like you to suffer the consequences of this. So why don't we just have you win it? Okay. I'll put the one out there. I know I'm giving up a four black, but hopefully I can draw something better. Okay. All right. So would you like to draw a card or would you like to take a pawn? I'm definitely going to take a pawn because I know this, the writing's on the wall. This, is, this one's done, so I'm going to be drawing up anyway. Okay. So I'm going to take a pawn. Okay. There we go. And then I would gain the four, which would bring me all the way over here. The The game would end because there's only this left, and I would also lose a mental endurance for winning this. So now your hand size specific. is five, yeah. and you only gain one pawn. This is going to happen anyway because I'm going to have to reshuffle my deck, which would lose me a mental endurance. Another one. So I guess it wasn't so bad. Um, <laughs> but I win this game. You so do. Dang I'm it. now at two points. <sighs> I didn't want to have to give up my four black, because, knowing that I'm going to be the black player next. Oh, I did not calculate my my hand management for the next turn, and I gave it's up hard, my It's three. hard to, yeah. It is. So let's go ahead and reset for the next game. Sure. These get discarded, uh, as well as go out. two pawns. And since I only have one card left in my draw deck, mm -hmm. I guess it's not so bad if I were to discard cards from my hand. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to be the white player, right? You are. So since my hand size is only five, I'm going to discard my entire hand. Off and it just, goes. Just flush it because I, so I have to draw this because I no. don't really know <laughs> what to expect in terms of how many cards I'll have. I'll penalize you. Thank Minus you. Minus one on the brain endurance yes. as you shuffle. And that's because I'm shuffling. How uh, many cards are you It's going to happen to me also. Okay. <laughs> Two, three. So I, I draw up to six, so I have four cards. I also have to shuffle, unfortunately. Okay. And Once that, you're because done. Because of that, I also have faced a penalty. Once you're done, then uh, update your your uh, status. So I have one card. I'm going to draw more, four more. Two, three, four. And I gain one pawn. If I lose an additional mental endurance here, then I won't be gaining any pawns from yeah, game to game. You gotta do that, yeah. So, so I, have to I be think very careful. I gain two pawns. There we go. There we go. Now we All both right. have four pawns going into this next one. You are the white. All right. So I that means I begin black. this. You do. And we are inching towards that six points. Okay, ready? I am. I'm gonna start by playing this value two knight to the two exchange here. And if I lose it, I get to add up to two pawns from the common supply to one of the pawn spaces, or sorry, to one of the res unresolved exchanges. Mm, so so I'm basically like just down. gonna boost one of base one of these two yeah. exchanges. Yeah, I'm gonna play the long game here. Okay. I'm gonna play my zero. It's oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's either resign the game, I'm not gonna do that, or Fisher must inc incur a minus two uh, penalty on the, the mental endurance. What? Yeah. Oh, no. That's bad yeah. because I'm going to be at a an advantage deficit right. in the next games. Um, that's interesting that this is thematic, by the way, because I think this is technically your king, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you only get one and little so move. So you can resign the game with your king? Yeah. All right. Well, that's that. So I win this advantage. Uh, but first, I have to... Are you going to resign or do I do that? You're going to do that. You're going to go down. <laughs> okay. I didn't even need to read the resign the game. No way. <laughs> oh, well, I gained two advantage. There so there's that. Gosh, this is tough because I, I, I don't <laughs> want to lose win. this. Yeah, you don't want to... Because I can't lose one more. I'm going to be at a two... Advantage deficit. It'd be so. in worst case scenario. Yeah. I guess I'll just play here. I'll play to the three, and I'm going to add two pawns. So this is a total value oh. of six. This is chess 101, terms and tactics, deflection with my rook. And if I lose this, then the advantage of this exchange is halved, rounded up. So hmm. it's not so bad. Like that one, yeah, you had. Uh, that's a good play. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to leave, if I if I lose this on purpose, uh -huh. that's going to leave four plus one. So we'll, we'll still be good. We'll still be playing because you could technically still go to a tie. Playing. Okay. Let's go ahead and just play a pawn. You can have this one. I'm not going to add any pawns. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I can either draw a card or yes. I can add uh, a pawn. I am going to draw a card. Oh. Yes. Digging through your deck. Ah. Okay. Wow. So I win this exchange. You I do. gain three. One, two, three. The sum of the other two is five, and I am at five, which means we continue again, starting with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to play my one pawn here. Ooh. I'm not going to add any okay. pawns to it. Nice. And so uh, I need to bring Naveen's mental endurance down just a little bit. You know, uh, respect. That's a good one. All right. So I will just, uh, I'm going to play this one. I'm going to play a one. <gasps> You're going to tie me? No. Oh. I'm going to put a pawn out. 
There we go. So I have two. I guess I could have played something a little bit stronger than this. But yeah. anyway, I get to draw a card, which I guess I'll just, yeah, I guess I will draw a card. Mm -hmm. And then, oh gosh, I should have taken a pawn. <laughs> I just realized that I'm not going to gain a pawn. Ooh. Okay. Well, decisions have been made. Okay. And uh, so I gained four. I you gained four. And then I go down one, on mental two, endurance. Three, four. It was a tough one. That is fine. A toughie. So you will start the last mm. exchange. Which is a great position for me to be in, honestly, because I get to react. You do. And I'm already one up on here. I know. So even though my mental endurance is bad. <laughs> I was so hoping that you would play to the one. <laughs> yeah. So that I could be the one to determine what happens at the four. I can't risk losing more mental endurance. That would be a two, a two disadvantage. Oh my gosh. I don't know what you have in your hand. It makes it really tough. And that's the game. Yeah. <laughs> that is the game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a three. And okay. I'm going to add two pawns. That's a five. That's a five. Give it up. I will. I will add a three and two pawns. Come on, man. <laughs> Dang it. So this is a tie, uh, which means I win this game. Yeah. Um, and the, it was great because it's only a one when I become the black player piece. So I figured, I'll, let me just get this out of my hand. Dang it. So that's that. I win a point. I am one, two, three away from winning the match. Shoot. And you we turn begin the again. tables on you. <laughs> well, you well, are going to suffer a one penalty going into the next it's, one. That's, that feels good. It's going to be harder for me yeah. to win. And I don't have any pawns. So that's actually a very big strategic advantage for you. Yeah. So, so is also having points. That seems to be a good advantage. <laughs> I'm going right. to discard one card, knowing that my hand limit's only five. Okay. I'm draw not going to discard any, uh, Yeah, I'm not going to discard any cards. Okay. And I, then I'm going to draw up to, I believe, six. Yes. I do not gain any pawns because of where I am on my track. And I start with a disadvantage, which means Naveen is one point in. Perfect. So you're going to be the white uh, player piece. Right. White player piece. That's right. And whenever you're ready... Yeah, Go I, for do, it. I do need to get my pawn for that one right there. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to play a... <laughs> let's do this one. Okay. Let's play a two into the three slot. Okay. Any and pawns? No, no pawns, but uh, if <laughs> if I lose it, you must incur a penalty. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> that stinks. Give it up. This might be a round to just lose, Toss. I guess. Yeah. Or honestly, maybe I just keep sprinting for it because um, I'm already at a bad point here. Okay. So I'm just going to play my four. Ah. I'm just going to win it. <laughs> must incur penalty. I must. Know. Yes. But you are going to get three points towards right. you. Right. So one, two, three. Dang it. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did what you could. Yeah, I did. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and play a one to the one because I'm probably going to lose it. Okay. And I really need some pawns in my supply. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll play a one. Okay. Um, but I'm going to tie it. You're going to tie it? I'm going to tie it. Okay. Because the way I see it is there's still five left over. Okay. I'm going to try to inch something out. Well, you now have the initiative, so. Okay. I'm going to play this four over here. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to leave it like that. Just a four? Yeah. If the advantage marker is currently on Fisher's side of the advantage track, gain uh -huh. plus two towards me. Uh -huh. So it's currently on your side. I'm just going to leave it as a four. I'm not going to use any pawns. Oh, my gosh. That's interesting because I have to essentially tie you for you to not gain two points. Mm -hmm. Because if you lose it, you gain two. If you win it, you gain two. So I guess I will have to lose it. Okay. So I'm, I'm playing this. And since I lost this, I'm just going to gain a pawn because I really, really need them. I'll take and points. And so. you take the two points that you would have received anyway, I guess. Ah, it's on me and now. this huh? is on you. So that's the stressful part. It is. Well, you're already here, so it's in your best interest to... Because you can't go any further down. It's in my best interest to win this. To win that, yeah. Yeah. Plus, it's also why you're playing the game is to win this. So, <laughs> okay, I'm going to play the five. Okay. And then, um, what do you... Oh, I don't <laughs> want to play one? that. Just one? Yeah, just one. I, I just have to gamble here. Oh, my gosh. If I lose this, I gain a bunch of things, and that doesn't penalize you. That but. is so interesting. I started this at... A, okay. Actually, no, it's not interesting. I think you're going to win this <laughs> no matter what. I'll take a win. I need a win. So um, I'm going to play this four because mm. it's a one for the white player piece anyway. And my effect here gains me plus two mental endurance. You get to draw two cards. I get to draw two but cards. But now I am out of the mental endurance hole. It's interesting because it's just, it's the very last turn. It so is. So it's a perfect time for me to have to draw two cards because yeah, we're going to go into the next one anyway. You would have had to draw anyway. I'll draw them. You gain the four, which would just make you win the match, but you also lose a mental endurance. Yeah, so that's too bad. There's that. You are one away from not... From having issues? Having a pawn. Okay. So anyway, 
That's that. That's that. You yeah. win a point. I do win a point. Okay, so the score now is two to three. Yes. Let's go ahead and reset. Okay. So this goes back to the middle. This card, your cards. Okay. All right. I'm not going to discard any cards from my hand, so I'm just uh, going same. to draw uh, four more so cards. I draw up to six, so I draw two. And I don't gain any pawns, but I am also not at a disadvantage this time. I do gain a pawn. <laughs> oh, that's scary. But now I'm playing as white? Is you that are, right? yeah. Oh, God. Lead us off, money. I go first. It is tough leading, mm -hmm. <laughs> let me tell you, especially uh, this far into the game. So I'm just going to put the one on the one. The Standard old, opening move, the old right? One, huh? Just move your pawn forward one or two spaces, really. <laughs> Perfect. Let's just tie you. Okay. Let's just tie you. I don't want you to have any more pawns. That's fine. It's a one. Nobody gains anything, oh, but now it switches to you. So you now need to start. Yeah, that's right. It does do that, doesn't it? And by the way, I'm curious to know if anybody out here plays chess um, and what your opening move strategies are, I guess. There's a whole... Chess is its own it's sort its of own world, dynamic, right? dynamic, yeah. Okay, I'm going to play out this four here. Okay. Uh, blunder, chess 101 blunder. Either, if I lose this one with the four, either Fisher chooses to incur a minus two penalty uh. or... Advantage in this exchange is not assigned. I get to choose. Mm. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> I've already expressed my distaste for the mental endurance, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to lose it because I need to gain more pawns. This is how I'm going to get these back. It is. Um, so you get three. One, two, three, and then you begin again. It goes back to you because the total is six, which means we continue playing. Well, I think I'm going to drop a five into here because <gasps> if I go one, two, then there's only a four remaining. So oh I'll drop a gosh. five in there, and then, um, all right, fine. I'm going to probably waste a pawn. You're making it a six? I'm making it a six. Give it up. I'm going to take a huge risk here. <laughs> what does this say? I'm going to play this, and I'm going to add two pawns to it. So I still lose because it's a total of five to six. But my effect here says I gain plus one advantage for each of my pawns. <laughs> <laughs> on my, of my pawns on spaces above this card, which is two advantage. I would gain that first. One, two. And then Naveen would gain his two. two. So back to square one. And then the four the is still one. there with the brain drain. Starting with you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> brain drain. Come on. You got some good counters. That's what I wanted, actually. I just wanted you to go down so you don't... I don't want you know, that. So, oh, now what do I... Feel the pain of mental endurance, Naveen. I am feeling it right now. Shoot. Well, I don't like having to play this card. It's a four, uh, but it's a one when I becomes when I become the white player. Yeah. And then uh, it's it says if I lost, just pick a random card from your hand, okay. um, and then you I get to choose if you play it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so there's not much left to play. I'm hoping you do not have a. <sighs> even if I tie, okay, you have no more pawns. Right. Uh, even if I tie with you, I'm still winning. Yes. Correct. I will save the pawn and risk it. I'm, I'm, no, I could have a five. You could have a five. Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, that's, that's, the that's, that's the risk. That's the risk. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Knowing that I'm gonna I'm gonna go down here if I win this, yes. then that means I get no more pawns, which is not good. That so is true. It's a good. I'm gonna basically risk that you do not have a cost five. Uh, cost benefit analysis there. <laughs> yeah. This is getting really spreadsheet. Really tense. Truly. Yeah. Um, I'm just lose. gonna I'm gonna lose it on Perfect. purpose. Good. Get myself a pawn. Okay, good. You gain the four. I do. You also gain Overkill. the loss in mental endurance, but you win this game. We're we're we're. Yes. We're tied here, though, Our, on the mental endurance. This is this is reflecting our current mental endurance. <laughs> so we're 3-3. Three, three. We are 3-3. Three, three. This three, is a completely, completely tied game. Tied game. Although I'm going to lose a mental endurance right now. So let's go I ahead and also. reset. <laughs> I think I am also. So go ahead and discard your it. cards and pawns. Pawn out. And knowing... Nobody's going to gain a pawn, huh? Knowing that I have to reshuffle my cards anyway. Do I want to discard this? I'm going to be the... Yeah. I'm going to discard this because I'm going to be the black player next. So I'll draw these two and reshuffle. Uh, you're going to be black. I'm going to be white. Right. Okay. I will not discard. So I'm going to take these two. Okay. So I've shuffled. Yes. And so have you. Too. So because we both shuffled, we have to go down. One, right? two, three. Correct. So we're both at a... We're both because at, we're both at a minus one disadvantage, it just stays in the center. You yeah. basically net. <laughs> you take the net of what, what's happening there. All right. So you are the white pawn or the... Or, uh, I am I black. Am, okay. The because... White. You uh, switched that over last. Yep. All right, starting with you. I'm ready. Okay, so I am going to play out my paranoia card. Okay. Onto the two spot. This is the one that if I lose it, mm -hmm. you go down on this track. Ah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to do a very risky move. Um, the cards in my hand are not that strong. Okay. And so I figured this is the best time to play a card like this, so I'm just going to do it. This is my strength zero 
Uh, I think it's my technically my king, right? Yeah, raising the stakes. Raising the stakes. And so if I were to lose this exchange, which I will, mm-hmm. I can either resign the game and gain a plus one mental endurance for each unresolved exchange. So that, that would be, be three. plus three on this track. Or gain uh, plus two pawns. So I think I'm just going to resign the game. Solid. Because I don't think I would have won it anyway with the cards that I had in my hand. So I might as well gain something from it. So I'm going to score this one. You are going to score this one. So I'm resigning the game. I gain one, two, three on my mental endurance track. And that's it. You just win the point. That just ends the game right there. Yes. Perfect. Ends the game. We discard and go into the next one. I'll take it. Naveen is two away from winning. If I lose that... M- might have been bad. Have been, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you tried but something. Special. I'm trying something. Yeah. yeah. I am going to be down one right here, so that's a, that's a problem. Yes, that is great for me. Yep. So I'm going to discard three of the cards that are in my hand. You're discarding? Yes, before we uh, do anything else. I will not discard. I'm just going to draw one card. Okay, so I'm going to redraw back mm. up uh, to five. And I finally gain a pawn. <laughs> so oh, I have good. some pawn income. You are at a one no point disadvantage. disadvantage yeah. So that is nice. And for this next game, I'm going to be the white player again. Okay, so you're leading. <laughs> I'm leading. And so things, the odds are a little bit better this time around. We'll see. So I'm going to start us off real simple, real easy. And I'm going to play to the one uh exchange here okay it's my zero king again but this time if i lose i either resign the game which i'm not gonna do and gain plus one for each unresolved exchange or i gain plus one advantage Uh, so it's kind of a win-win we tie on this one yeah and you already that's pretty nice i wish i had a zero okay so i'm gonna play this one okay just a simple one No benefits. All right. I'm gonna win that one. So that's it. So I resolve mine first, (laughs) which means I gain one, and then you win one. So it goes back. Now it's on me. (laughs) So now you start on on the higher advantage columns. Shoot. And by the way, this was Fisher. The world knows I am the best. Oh, it's a quote. (laughs) All right. I'm gonna put out a three here. Okay. Uh, and this one says, for the remainder of the game, when playing cards, Fisher Uh, cannot use pawns to increase their strength. Made an appearance again. Yeah. You know, I just don't really think it's worth it for me to not be able to play my pawns. I'm going to play this. Get that out of my hand. I'm going to lose this, uh, and I'm going to gain a pawn. So take that. So I gain two, though. (laughs) You gain two. So the the pendulum does swing back your way. Okay. But now we have the... The impasse. Yes. So now it's on me, huh? It is on you. All right. I'm just going to play a lowly... Hmm. Ah... (laughs) Shoot. Lowly what, Naveen? A lowly one. What? Go ahead, Monique. It's odd. Yeah. Okay. I'd like you to lead on the next one. Sure. I'll play a three. Okay. So you, would you like a card well, or a pawn? Seeing as I don't have the ability to get uh, pawns by where I am over there, mm-hmm. I'm going to take a pawn for sure. Okay. So one, <sighs> two, three. All and right. now we must play here. Lead us away, Monique. What do you got? I think I have to try to truly win this. So I'm going to play a five, and I'm going to put the pawns there. So this is going to be mine for sure, I think, unless Naveen has something tricky up his sleeve. Well, i got to find a way to get pawns. I think I'm going to lose this game, so I'm going to put a one there. Okay. I'm losing that one. I'm not going to place a pawn, so I'm just going to take one down as my benefit. All right. One, two, three, (sighs) four. I lose a mental endurance, which is fine. I'm still still there. Yeah, we Yeah, in the same threshold. So Mm. maybe that last move was worth it. So then you score a point. Yes, I score a point. Thank you. Four, four. That is the end of this game. Let's clean up. It is really, really tight. This is closer than that. Very close game. I like your position, though, relative to mine. Mine starts with a negative one. I got to get out of that. (laughs) I got to get out of there. So let's go ahead and draw up. I'm going to draw okay, four cards. Draw four. I'm not discarding Two, my one card. Three, four. I'm not discarding either. Come and on. I need you to shuffle. Sometimes you need those lower numbered cards mm-hmm. because they do help you gain, you know, more pawns, which is really, really useful. Right. And again, Naveen starts at a uh, disadvantage here. <sighs> you are going to be the white pawn. The white pawn. All right. Say. So starting with you, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to play this three here. Okay. And if I lose it, it says I must incur a uh, minus one on my track, Mm -hmm. then discard both cards and all pawns if there are any in this exchange section. Uh, Its advantage is not assigned. So it's almost like it doesn't even exist. So. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So you can either play a big card and then it doesn't exist or a low card and I win it. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Hopefully I win it. 
Wow, that is not an easy decision. That's a, that's a yeah. <laughs> that's a tough one. Um, I am going to tie it. Tie it. So nothing so like happens. It, okay. You don't incur the minus oh, one. Oh, that's great. Nobody gets. I mean, the advantage wouldn't have been assigned. I guess Perfect. for me anyway. So yeah. that's that. But now I have to start. Uh, oh, interesting. All right. Well, I'm gonna play this four on the two spot. Okay. I mean, it's not a lot, but it is a little bit more considering I'm already one up here. Mm -hmm. And if I lose this, then I gain plus two uh, mental endurance, but you also get to draw two cards. Mm. Now, if you draw over your hand limit at the end of that phase, you have to discard down to your hand right. limit. Okay, I'm going to play that zero. Either resign the game and gain or gain two cards. Okay. I would rather gain two cards. You're going to gain two yeah, cards? Yeah, you can win this one. Okay, so I'm you gonna go take ahead. two cards, and I'm not over my hand limit because I have three. Okay. Okay. And then I win the two advantage. Yeah, now, I'm at three, and the other ones are a total of five, five which means we press, press on. Press on. Well, I'm going to pass it back to you. <laughs> so I'm playing this uh, one, and that's it, really. One, that's it? Yeah. Okay, I will play one, that's it. Okay. I will not push on. So this is a tie. Tie. Which means nothing happens and it does go back to you. All right. <laughs> yeah. So that was going to volley back that was uh, regardless. All right. Well, I have, I have one play. And okay. I think it has to be this five. Uh oh. Six, seven. seven. Come on. Interesting. You do not have an extra pawn. There's no way. Oh, I don't have an extra pawn. <gasps> you have a five? <laughs> you have a five? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Okay, I'm not gonna play my pawn. You are gonna win this one, but I am gonna play the five because it turns that? into a one when I'm the white player piece anyway. And so this says, out of the book, randomly pick half of the cards from Spassky's concealed hand and discard them, round it up. So my hope is that Naveen was holding back cards that would be strong for him in the last round, potentially. So I get to discard two. Two of my three cards? Yes. You wanna see what they are? Go ahead. No, no, no. I well, uh, yeah, I guess they're going to get discarded. Yeah. I will, I'll discard these two. Do you want to see what they were? I guess so. I don't know if you're technically you supposed know what? I, to I reveal can, them. Yeah, you know, you're right. Because I think you can technically card count, well, but I'll see what one of them are. Zero. I guess. <laughs> zero okay. is all you need to know. Wow. Not Perfect. cool. So I won this one, so you I have did. to take the penalty. You do. Uh, and then you did your thing. Yes. But we go one, two, three, barely inching to the four. Barely. But still barely. a success for But you. I'm going to have negative two. That's a problem. You are. Big so let's problem. see what happens in the next round, oh, which boy. is potentially the final round, because Naveen is at game point here. I'm brain burning myself so, here. This there's is that. bad. <laughs> and go this ahead and discard no good. your cards. I do. Yep. I'm in a full reset mode here. Come on, Naveen's come like... on. Tell me you have to <laughs> shuffle. Tell me you have to shuffle. Uh, I probably yes i do yes. right because there's only three that means cards you're not here. gonna so get a pawn <laughs> i might as well discard this yeah discarding that i will take these three and i'll reshuffle bringing my mental endurance down I unfortunately see. so i'm not going to discard down i'm just going to draw up and i think these are my last four so i don't technically have to go down although i am already at the very bottom there. <laughs> yeah so, so if you're already at the suffer, very bottom nothing else happens i will really. suffer my consequence of being at the very bottom here you go fisher nice bobby we are beginning anew, and I am the white player piece. You are. So I will start this treacherous Off you go. <laughs> potentially final game. Ready? Yes. All right. I am going to play my two knight okay. to the two space. And it says if uh, if I lose this, <laughs> if Spassky's king is in the lead, it is. because he has won more games than you, gain plus two advantage. And so this is a uh, this is a win win unless we tie. Tie. <laughs> we tie. Okay, that's still a win, really. Yeah, because it's like you got the two, two yeah. and that one. Right. Perfect. Uh -huh. But I got no benefit. Uh -huh. All right. So it's me? Yes. I have a trick up my sleeve. Mm. Chess 101 Blender. Uh-oh. It's, it's a four. Okay. Either Fisher chooses to incur minus two mm -hmm. or the advantage of this exchange does not get assigned. Mm. There okay. we go. And minus two, mind you, is yes. minus two. Yes, is minus two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will uh, play this two knight, my other one. Okay. And because I'm going to lose this, it's going to allow me to add up to two pawns from the common supply to your pawn spaces of one unresolved exchange. They must both go no, to the same that's exchange. A, that's not good. That's not good. But you get three. One, two, three. I do get and three. And you get to begin the next exchange. So everybody gets something. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. You know what? I'm going to toss this three out there. Hmm. Uh, if I lose it, it says reshuffle your discard pile into your draw deck without incurring the penalty, then gain a card. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. 
I mean, I'm already at the way bottom, so incurring a penalty is not really a thing, but... Mm. Well, I don't like that, so I'm gonna tie you. This is so tense. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so it's on so you. It's on me for the final... You lead. ...exchange in this game. I am leading, and it really is gonna be dependent on what is in your hand. I have two cards. Well, the, my I do have an advantage here in that Naveen only has one pawn, and I already have two placed there. Mm. So I'm just gonna play... My highest card, which only happens to be a three for a total strength of five. What do you have, Naveen? Well, I think I'm going to win. <gasps> five. Oh, six. No. I've won a game against you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I had a one uh, in my hand also. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Well, let's resolve. Let's, let's finish it out. Oh, hold on. Okay. It says, I gain plus one for each of my pot spaces yes. on this card. So I go one, one two, two, and then you gain the four. So one, one two, two, three, three four. four. What am I saying? That was always going to be, that. yeah, you definitely won that game. So go ahead. There we go. Put that right there. That is six victories. Yes. Six individual games that I have won. Yes. Uh, and so I am the 1972 World Chess Champion recreated. <laughs> You defended your title. Yes, because technically, technically Fisher won in real reality. But, but yeah, but from what uh, we understand, Spassky was the defending champion, the reigning defending champion. Yes, and I so. just you know I brought some some change. It was me. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. In our reality, wow. you are the winner. I won. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a very tight game. That was tense. Um, I've yeah. actually not won a game of this against Naveen, so <laughs> I think you kind of just know the card play a little bit. Maybe? I was I was trying to remember. I, kn I knew there was a five somewhere, mm. so I just couldn't remember exactly like if it was going to come in that last one or the the previous, the second to last one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm trying to keep track of like, okay, how many how many fives have I seen? Yeah, I was going to ask you, do you card count? I try to. Okay, yeah, I don't. I try to, and maybe that's the difference. But it was yeah. still very close. So this game is going to reward people who can kind of. Do the clever uh, card play yeah. tactics and really... Now, I'm, I'm card counting the value, not the yes. the uh, activity on the card. Right. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that is yeah. too much because they're double-sided, so yeah. it's, it's kind of hard to keep track of. I but. think the value is enough, um, but it's also a bit tough because each card has two values. So you're trying to yeah. you're trying to kind of maneuver the ping pong of the, the player colors. You're definitely finding yourself in that moment where it's like, I could play this three right now mm -hmm. but i like the ability on the other side when i become the white player so mm -hmm. maybe i won't use that to be the thing that i win this other thing so yeah there's there's a lot of little little things to think about well anyway that is match of the century thank you all so much for watching the video if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can and once again thank you all so much for watching the video if you'd like to see more like this in the future please consider subscribing thank you thanks bye